Cover as many concerns as possible, making a list of types of contingencies that may occur. What if someone has to stay home with a child? Talk about who is going to do what in the case of emergencies or disputes. Disagreements are never personal, just business. Set clear boundaries, rules and expectations from the get-go. It is also important to communicate clear measures of success so everyone has clarity in their roles. You may want to split ownership 50-50, but there may be valid reasons for not doing this. For instance, if one person is going to work full-time and the other part-time, a different ownership can reflect this. Learn how different types of business organisations can suit your circumstances. Partnerships, LLP or limited company. Learn which model works best for you. It is vital that the owners of the business have appropriate contracts documenting issues such as ownership in the business and exiting the business. Create written agreements detailing roles in the business. If family or friends want to invest in the business, you will definitely need an agreement that protects both of you. Consult a solicitor before you commence the business to ensure that the correct documents are in place. Having professional legal and financial advisors who aren't family or friends can diffuse tensions that may arise. It is imperative to seek clarification on issues you are unsure of. Gaining the expertise of a legal professional will help resolve the issues with speed and skill if you run into a problem. Going into business with a friend or family member can be a great idea, but it can also cause tension and relationship issues, which may not be apparent when you start the business. It is vital that you treat the relationship as a business relationship to clearly distinguish between the business and personal relationships.